guys, call me crazy, but I am doing <sighs> a scary story all by myself. That's right. The rest of the Star Squad is actually back in Texas packing up all of our stuff because we recently moved to Pennsylvania um, to be near our family and stuff. And so we still had to go back and get a bunch of our furniture and our belongings and stuff. And so I'm holding down the fort here in Pennsylvania playing some Roblox for you guys while the entire Star Squad is back in Texas getting everything ready to move back to Pennsylvania. Isn't that crazy? And normally I don't play these games without my sister Daisy because she's the one that loves scary games and I don't. <laughs> like, I don't at all. But you guys love them so much that I decided I'm gonna do this for you. So, oh, I've already got my ticket, guys. Here I go. Oh, this is gonna be so creepy, I just know it. Oh. This one is called I see you. Look at the entrance. Even the entrance is creepy. Oh, look at that. It's so scary. Is that I dropped my phone. Scariest thing ever. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, is that gaming with Kev? Kev? It looks like gaming with Kev. Well, Kevin was at school. He got a strange text message. It just said, I see you. Weird. He didn't recognize the cell phone number, so he texted back. Who is this? Oh my gosh. I love your outfit, it's so adorable! Oh wait, they're not real people. They're just kind of like standing there. It's just for the story, Molly. There was no answer. Kevin looked around to see who it could have been, but he didn't spot anyone suspicious. Okay, I know something creepy is going to jump out at me. They always do in these games. Then I scream, then you guys laugh. <laughs> I think that's how it works, right, guys? Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this video before. I mean, if you've played this game before. Obviously, you haven't seen this video because you're just seeing it for the first time. Duh! I'm so nervous I'm saying dumb things. Anyway, he asked his friends if they texted him or if they were pranking him. But all they said was no. They weren't even on their phones. Oh, my gosh. Who is the person that texted I see you to Kev? The bell had rung, so everyone began heading off to, the cla to their class. Kevin just assumed that it was the wrong number and forgot all about it. Bad idea! Super bad idea. After school, Kevin was hanging out with his friends when suddenly he got another text. I see you. Oh my god! It's terrifying. I do like the escalator ride, though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He asked his friends if they were pranking him again. They all said no. They began looking around but didn't see anyone nearby. They shrugged it off as a prank. Oh, I'm just going to tell you guys right now. Not a prank! Kevin decided it was time to get home. So he said goodbye to his friends and headed off. Kevin, don't go by yourself. Please, I'll walk with you. You don't want to go by yourself. Oh, look, other people are playing this game right now. Cool. They want to be scared too. As he was walking home, he got another text. I see you. Kevin texted back. Whoever this is, you better knock it off before I call the police. Yeah, you tell him, Kevin. He got an instant reply was a picture of Kevin and his friends from just a few minutes ago. Oh, my gosh. Someone is after Kev. Oh, call the police. Seriously, Kev. Something serious is going to happen. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. This really freaked Kevin out. He started walking faster and looking around. He began calling his friends and asking them what he should do. Um, okay, I'm going to be your friend right now because I'm right here and I'm telling you, call the police. 911. I can't believe I'm playing this game without my sister. Something creepy is going to happen. His friends reminded him that it was almost Halloween and a lot of people were pranking each other, so he should just ignore it and calm down. Bad idea. Bad idea. Kevin totally trusted his friends and realized they were probably right. This calmed him down a lot, so he decided to enjoy the rest of his walk home. Kevin arrived home just as night had arrived. He went inside. 
Whoa, it's super cute for Halloween. Even though it's like after Christmas. <laughs> As he was walking down the hallway towards his room, he got another text. I see you. Oh my gosh, something scary is going to happen right about now. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Wait, who are you? Okay, I thought that person was a zombie. They're just wearing a green hoodie. He was getting aggravated now and was about to text back when... Nope, I'm not going to the next screen. Sorry, I can't do it. Kevin, don't do it. Oh my gosh, look at guys. <laughs> Kevin is giving me a piggyback ride. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not looking. Tell me what happens, guys. Okay, nothing yet. He got another text. It was a picture of the street Kevin lived on. Now Kevin started to realize this wasn't just some Halloween prank. He sat down at his computer to quickly Skype his friends, but no one was online yet. We'll text him! Just then, he got two more texts. One right after another. The first text said, I see you again. The second text was a picture of his house from his neighbor's yard across the street. Oh my gosh, Kev! Oh my gosh, look at Kev's face! He's like, whoa! He's terrified. He frantically began calling his friends, but the text started coming again. I see you. Then another picture of his house from the middle of the street. Oh my god, he's getting closer, Kev! Run! Kevin started dialing the number for the police department, but two more texts came. I see you. Then another picture of his house directly out front. The police picked up and Kevin tried to explain what was happening when two more texts came. I see you in a picture of his front door. The police said they didn't have anyone in the area, but would send someone as soon as possible. Kevin begged them to hurry, but the text kept coming. The next one said, I see you. And a picture came right after from the inside of his house. Ah! He told the police the person was in the house, but then... Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him from right in back of him. Kevin quickly spun around from his chair. I don't want to go to the next screen. It's going to be so terrifying. I'm closing my eyes. Tell me what happens. Ah! What is that? Oh my god, it was a creepy clown. But it was too late. Oh, he's got an axe. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. Ah, just kidding. That's not how it ends. Go to the next scene to see the real ending. Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him from right in the back of him. Kevin quickly spun around in his chair. <laughs> and smashed the intruder with his bat. Pow! Oh my gosh, look at <laughs> That's awesome. Who made this? This is super fun. <laughs> yeah, he beat him! The cops are like, uh, can I go get a donut now? <laughs> yeah, that was a really good one. I liked I See You. Guys, what did you think of this? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm not going to lie. I was like super afraid during this whole entire thing, but I made it. Guys, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channels too, okay? We love you guys and we love our subscribers. Um, There's also this hide and seek one. We just did The Passenger last week, so you can check Daisy and I out on another video we did for The Passenger on our channel, because we did it last week, so it's already on our channel right now, guys. You can watch that one. Um, We haven't done The Golden Arm. We did The Babysitter like two months ago. Whoa, that was creepy. And let me see what ones are over here. Wait, okay, back to the theater. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Where am I? Okay, yeah. Um, I don't think we've done Story Me Night or the Scary Stories Ride 1 or 2, Mothman Incident or Soot. Okay, so we have a ton of these to do, guys. Let us know what you think we should do next because, um, yeah, nobody's home and this will be super creepy for me to do by myself. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.